WFNN. Headline News Update. Hey, good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 416, S&P 56, NASDAQ 100, 161, Russell's up 10, Semi's 24, Tranny's up 205, Gold's off 12 bucks, 1892 is the print there. Silver's down six pennies at 23.53. Light Sweet Crew trading up 50 cents, 102.20 is the print there. Natural Gas up 45 cents, big move, seven dollars and thirty cents. Uh, and we take a look at the 30-year Treasury off 17 ticks, 141.29. We'll do a couple of things here. Just one, a quick uh, update to the uh, show we were taking a look at earlier. Maybe it was the 1 o'clock update out there. I think it was the show. And that was this pattern here. And the real focus for you for the day is going to be the ES Mini. It's a 30-minute time frame chart. The key levels to watch the upside are 42.29.75. A close above that, certainly two consecutive closes above that, we had higher, 4290-ish, 4286. To the downside, 4163.75. If price begins trading below that, then we see markets move lower going into the close. So now it could just be a consolidation between the support and resistance level, but those are the two areas to watch. Those are the only two levels I believe that you need. So now let's go take a look at uh, what's going on with the indice charts out here. If you give me a moment, we're going to change some screens. And when we do that, we come back to the uh, live screen. We're going to see the Dow in the upper left hand corner. What is the Dow telling us? The Dow is telling me, well, we do have a rejection right now of the swing point for March the 8th out there. But other than that, we've got no bottom signal. So we have to rely on the other cash indices at this stage. Well, guess what? No bottom signal on the S&P, no bottom signal on the NDX 100, no bottom signal on the Russell 2000, none on the semis, none on the transports out there, none on the New York Stock Exchange. And uh, so that says that, uh, okay, we likely don't have a bottom. And what we're seeing today is nothing more than just a counter trend move. And what we'll see take place in the S&P 500 is an actual test of the February 24th low. And what we'll see inside of the uh, Dow is at least a test of the March 8th, perhaps the March 8th low out there. So that's what we would be uh, looking for. Um, is there anything else out here that I can uh, see or share with you? Really not a whole lot. So we need some tests of those lower swing point levels, or we need some type of bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point. And those are patterns that we don't have at 2.02 in the afternoon. Folks, stay tuned. David White's up next. Have a terrific, or uh, yeah, terrific, wonderful Wednesday. And I'll see you on Terrific Thursday. The reality